Welcome back to Let's Play The Evil Within 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and my lozenge wrapper says, Be Unstoppable. And I'm gonna have to be if I'm gonna survive with no bullets, and, uh, and no, uh... Oh yeah, no harpoons at all, just the fancy ones. I don't want to use those up. Tell you what, let's go with a smoke one. Maybe I can... Run away, or sneak behind a guy. I'm following this signal. Because it supposedly leads to ammo! Legs get dragged away? Oh no, that's just the guy. I'll take it! blood seems to have the mold growing in it. Or is that empty spaces between? No, no, it's definitely on top of the blood. A grate! That's just what we needed. Oh, uh... Yeah, here it is. Uh, shout out to Shadow9808, who informed me that SOP is short for Same Old Procedure, or Standard Operating Procedure, depending on who you're asking. <laughs> there were some uh, more creative suggestions from uh, Yornik, I believe it was. And uh, while I'm looking at this paper... Oh, yes, yes. Uh... Shout out to my good friend Ronan Drake, who informed me that one of the rewards for beating one of the harder difficulty modes in this game is unlocking, what was it called? Ultimate mode? Which brings back the letterboxes from the first game. Oh, right. Well, I can do that. Oh, actually, I have some metal poles, don't I? I can make some harpoons. Yeah, that'll do it! I wasn't sure if I... Uh, yeah. I always need to check first. It's all written right there at the bottom of the screen, but... I never think to check there for some reason. I wasn't sure if it was done because I had full harpoons, or because, you know, uh, I didn't have any pipes. full of ham. Oh no, no, never mind, this is weapon parts. I always get those two confused. Where the hell even is the grocery store? I haven't seen a grocery store. Hmm. Okay, I checked. It was uh, Michael Scott who told me about a grocery store. Apparently there's a ladder leading up to the roof, which helps. Damn. That guy sounds really backed up. But he needs his fiber. That's a ladder, so this could be the grocery store, but... I don't even know where I am. Oh, that's right, I didn't walk over here because, uh... There's a whole shitload of zombies right here, aren't there? Well, not as many as there were in the goddamn field, actually. Oh. You know what? Maybe I'll just guess that this is the grocery store. Yeah, that sounds good to me. I don't know. Maybe I can see the back of the sign from up here and confirm it that way. Uh, okay. Interrupted! God damn. 
The Lost is a really good name for these fucking things. Because there is clearly nothing human left in there. I know I wouldn't want to be one of those goddamn things. Supermarket Crimsons. Okay, the grammar doesn't make any sense, but... Well, this could be the grocery store. It's just... There's nothing up here. I don't mind being... pointed in a direction. I would mind, for example, if you told me exactly what... Oh, you know... Oh, if you go to this... To these coordinates, you will find, uh... You know, two things of ammo, a uh, bunch of parts, and a shotgun. How odd. Hmm. Okay, so that's not the trick. I don't have to do this in order to find it. Oh, what are you gonna do? Oh, mother of God, I really wish I had a Molotov right now. Just right in between those guys, and they were right next to each other. Mmm, tasty. Okay, uh... Uh, okay, that happened. That's just a puddle. I th it was a like greenish light, and I thought in the reflection, and I thought it was a, uh, you know, a bunch of juice. Man, this better not be one of those the secret to defeating the knife women was inside you all along things. into the grocery store? Oh, um... Uh, I wasn't here. I already had the thing there, right. Yeah, I knew that. Well, this isn't scary at all. There's something I can take cover against. I'm just gonna hope for the best. There is a building here. They're so agitated, so... Oh, well, look at that. I used to have all of my bottles in fighting that asshole. Great. Is this the building? Yes, it is. Or, no, that one is. So what the hell is... Okay, doors is painted on, but what's up here?
Oh, cool. It's the remote control to a kill set. Can't quite reach that from here. Oh, fuck! Maybe this is a grocery store. You will not stand in my way. Okay, so Solid Snake, I am not, but hey, he's dead. hunting season. Hello, beautiful one. No! The barrel's all fucked up. It looks like the bullet just exploded. Broken sniper rifle. The body of this sniper rifle is badly damaged. With the proper parts, it could be repaired. The previous owner is no longer able to say where those might be found. Barrel's toast. But the rest of it looks okay. Need to find some parts to fix it. Well, I'm closer, anyway. Mobius communicator log. Replacement parts. A communication fo log found on the communicator. Keating, we're on the roof of the building next to the visitor center. I blew at the barrel of the sniper rifle. Need replacement parts? Stat. McCoy, the parts are in the supply shed across from Union Auto Repair. It's all the way up in the northeast west corner of town. It's all right on the edge of the break. Come on, man. Uh, I don't care where they are. Bring them to me before these things find their way up here. Shit, man, why do I always get the dangerous jobs? Looks like someone started to eat this man's butt. I mean, he has a gun right there. I'm just saying. Strategic Mobius locations. Well, they're talking about the uh, across from this. Oh no, no! Okay, I guess we're fighting the smoke monster today. I guess that's happening. Can I really not just... No, we're just going to assume that gun is empty. In fact, that guy was a cadet. He's carrying a wooden replica gun. Jesus Christ. On the other hand, if you had climbed up to the roof and kicked the ladder away, you'd probably be set, huh? These guys don't seem inclined to do the World War Z thing, where they uh, pile themselves up against a wall. The hell is that? Got my window open and there's a smell coming in from outside, like burnt hair. Which just adds to how charming uh, the town of Union is, of course. How? There's no phone number, you moron. Oh, right. For a second I thought it was like background checks. I know I just said Zed, uh, so, but you know, not to put too fine a point on, uh, my nationality or anything, but in Canada we spell checks with a Q.
Not very welcoming for a visitor center. Idly ho, neighbor! I'm new in town! Oh no, this one's cocaine, never mind. I'm kind of hoping those guys are dead already, not just because, you know, I don't want to fight them, but also because... Yeah, okay. But also because of, uh... Well, I suppose it could be done well, it's just... I remember, uh, Dead Space 3. And I didn't think that game was as bad as most people, but, you know, you have to approach it from the perspective that it's not a horror game, it's a co-op action game. So I had a great time going through that game with, uh, Ronan Drake. But, uh, I'll read this first. Oh, good. Welcome to Union Pamphlet. Union is an ideal mix of small-town charm and modern-day convenience. Surrounded by diverse natural wonders. The Devil's Own... Tea Room? Tap Room? Uh, come and step back into a simpler time, where the warm, friendly smiles of the residents are comfortable and familiar. Get away from the hustle and bustle, and come to a place that welcomes you with open arms. Union. We're glad you're here. But yeah, one of the things that didn't really feel great about Dead Space 3 was that for the first time in the series, in addition to fighting horribly mutated undead necromorphs, you were also fighting humans with guns. And, you know, fighting the necromorphs is, uh... The experience of fighting Necromorphs was different enough from most games that uh, it kind of made the series, you know, strategic dismemberment and all that. You couldn't fight them the way you fought most shooter enemies. The humans with guns? Uh... That's a butterfly. Lily said that. Is this meant for me? Resonance point arrow indicator. It's the indicator will show an arc indicating the relative distance to a resonant point. Additionally, arrows will appear if it is above or below your position. Sorry, baby. Daddy's got to do this. That sign say Ryan Turner. Oh. But yeah, fighting guys with guns is basically the same as in every other shooter ever. You're just doing it with dead space weapons. So that is going to become important in about a minute, I'm guessing. I recognize this work. Him again. I guess this artist is going through his blue period. I can get you out of here.
Tough luck, right? Suck it down, murderer. Never thought, uh... I mean, let's face it. I'm not a fan of the guy's work. But he did just make things a lot easier for, uh, Sebastian. This is supposed to be art. More like an execution. Yep. I'm not happy about anything here. I'm just not... I don't know. I'm not sorry that it happened. I'm just not happy about it either. You know, don't take pleasure from this. Ha! Called it. Huh. Another communicator. Must be Ryan's. Huh. Mobius team members. They might have something useful on them. Well, you can pick it up and find out. Turner's communication, uh, communicator log. The most recent log file recorded by the communicator. I rigged my communicator to pick up Unity chip signals. I managed to find locations for the rest of the security team. What's left of them, anyway. They'll have supplies, and it's not like they need them anymore. All of these chips are broadcasting from dead brains. Oh. Wow, two of those in one area. There. Do I go after the... You know what? I think I'm going to go after the fucking sniper rifle parts. But first, actually, now that I think about it, I should probably fucking save. Got too close. Well, I would say rest in peace, Ryan, but I'm pretty... It's pretty clear that's not going to happen, so... Sucks to be you, buddy. The camera rigged to take a picture of the victim. No, no comment about how someone tried to get... A, the guy tried to get an image of you being devoured by a zombie. Uh, oh! Damn it. Where did he go? Well, that's a great time to end the episode. I just... The timer just ran, so, um, I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play The Evil Within 2 when all of my plans get derailed. Again. <laughs> Wish me luck, Burning Dog fans. I might just need it.